up, everybody? It's your favorite Swamp Suits favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back Dagobah Luke, recently released. Now, we won't be looking at the whole wave of this, but we will be looking at a few select pieces, obviously everything that's new, and then a couple ones that I'm getting because, well, I didn't have the original. So with that being said, we are going to look at this guy, but we're going to start with accessories. He comes with this blaster. Decent enough sculpt. We have the brown handle painted and we have the silver barrel and that's about it He'll hold that just fine and it can go on his hip holster with no problem And we have the lightsaber we have the so I'm guessing this the hilt is completely painted with silver and gold and red and black And then we have the translucent blade that can come off and you know what I want a white rod through the center with the blue translucent around it And we're having the same problem of getting the hilt out of the or the uh, so i have to work on that but and as i'm trying to i'm warping it so that's the same issue we've been running into consistently with uh, some of the black series stuff and remains consistent here and he'll hold that just fine in either hand or both and if you yank on it hard enough so to speak you can get the blade off of the hilt and then the hilt will hang on this loop however because of the shape of the thighs and the hips the blade always wants to kind of sit out at an angle so it doesn't sit quite naturally and let's talk about the figure so the head is on a ball peg to a hinge using both you can get the head up to there down to there side to side no, no real attitude. This is the old way that they were doing business because it's just a repainted version of an old figure, right? We do have the digital mapping on the face. Uh, certainly not the most successful, but not terrible either. And then the hair has a deep wash on it. I think overall it's acceptable, but certainly not the best. This one might be a situation where the head sculpt is slightly off or the paint is slightly off. It's hard, kind of hard to tell. We have the suit, which is digitally sculpted, of course. And then we have all of the, the wrinkles and pockets and all that kind of stuff done, which looks nice. And the whole suit has a wash throughout. Uh, a little bit heavier of one, perhaps even some dry brushing done down here at the boot area. I think it's just a heavier wash, though. And then we have disc hinge shoulders, get you out to 90 degrees and around. We have a single hinged elbow that gets you just about 90 degrees. That's where your bicep swivel is gonna be. Your wrists have a hinge up down here, up down here, and swivel obviously, and then these are the options you get, one trigger finger hand, one holding hand. You know that drives me nuts. We have a single ball peg, great range of motion though. It might even be a double. So you get all the way around and the swivel. We have the floating belt uh, with the thigh holster. All of the buckles are painted silver and painted clean for the most part. We had a little bit of sloppiness there on the back, but not terrible. T-jointed ball joints for hips. Gets the hips out to there, so not the greatest range. Forward and back to there, fair. And then a thigh swivel. Double jointed knee, the ugly kind, but it's there. And then we have ankle tilt up, ankle tilt down, and a rocker. So, Overall, I mean, kind of your old school approach with some modern updated painting, and I think it does a decent enough job. Perhaps not the best that we've seen, um, but overall, certainly not a hateful attempt. And then size comparison wise and kind of display wise, uh, this is probably not his final resting grounds, but currently I have him kind of showing up a few minutes early to the carbon freezing moment. So he's just sort of Hanging out and st hang being s hanging low, staying low, whatever it is, he's doing both. Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives and they're basically that the only thing updated here is the paint really, right? And the paint's not done extremely well. It's not bad, but we've seen it done better. And to be fair, we're not entirely sure if it's the paint or the sculpt, but something is awry in the face. And with that being the only new update, it's kind of going to come down to you. If you like the paint job well enough and think it's a decent enough, enough improvement to pick up the figure again, or if you're like me and you miss the figure, I can definitely recommend picking it up because it's decent enough. And then of course, the only other thing I would mention is the lightsaber hilt to the blade that connection is not great and I feel like it's becoming a consistent issue you can almost set your watch to it and I would prefer more hand options that would have been nice especially with the repackaging of a figure
Positives wise though, accessory wise with the exception of the hands, it comes with an appropriate amount. There's plenty of paint on this thing from washes, heavier washes, and accent paints, and most of them are applied really well. The articulation is an older code, sir, but she checks out. And a lot of the sculpting and stuff is on the money. So if you don't have the figure, I can definitely recommend it with no problem. If you do have the figure, that's gonna come down to kinda how your collection needs representation of certain characters and certain suits. Hope that helps. Be safe. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.